the afternoon. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. And we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Sharing the wing spots. It's Caldwell Pope and Porter. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. And it's Murray in at the one. And for Boston, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Now, here's Brown. Unloads. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Look, you've got to give Brown a lot of credit for his growth as a shooter. That wasn't something he did when he first got to the league. He put in a lot of work. He shoots it well from the floor and line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And last season saw the retirement of former Nugget great and future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony Clark. He was one for the ages. And you can't overlook the impact he had, Kevin, and I agree with you. One for the ages as a rookie, helping them break an eight-year playoff drought, and he never missed the postseason in his seven-plus years in Denver. Now, here's Jokic. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Passes to Jokic. Caldwell Pope outside. Lock at six. There's Porter with the three. Nailed from three-point land. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. Holiday, the pass to White. Here's Tatum. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Holiday against Murray. Inside. Gordon kicks to Jokic. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Brown sets a screen for Tatum. But Trey, Jokic grabs the miss. Denver's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. There's the pass to Murray. Gordon with a screen on Holiday. Back to Jokic. Over Perzingis. That misses off the backboard. Tatum against Caldwell Pope. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. Tatum with another miss. The Nuggets have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Back to Porter. It's stolen by Brown. Pass to Porzingis. Beyond the arc. And it's Jokic with the rebound. He kicks to Murray. Back to Jokic. Murray scanning the floor. Jokic inside. Wide on it. And it's Jokic missing. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. He dishes it to Tatum. Back to Brown. Free throw line jump shot. And it's sent back by Jokic. Jokic bringing it at the defensive end. Love seeing him get busy at that end of the floor. Holiday against Murray. Pass to Jokic. Outside for Caldwell Pope. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Austin's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Tatum against Porter. Outside Tatum. The kick out to Holiday. Over Gordon. 
A shot by Holiday, no good. Boy, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Very effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Outside Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Gordon. The three from Tatum. Denver grabs the miss. Caldwell Poe passes to Murray. Porter with it. Fires for three. And again, Denver with the triple. Boy, the coaching staff loves when Porter Jr. takes these kinds of shots. It really helps establish a rhythm for him. Clark, and you've mentioned this, what you like about Jamal Murray more and more is he's always creating for others. You know, look, sometimes it's a function of who you play with as to how you perceive. I don't think he's ever been selfish, but he wasn't always surrounded by excellent scores. So this guy just wants to win, and he'll do whatever it takes to do so. Murray against Howard. Murray kicks to Jokic. Dishes to Porter. This is it to Jokic. From down low, Porzingis with the block. That reach of Porzingis is just outrageous. I mean, I love when he uses it on defense to stifle shooters. Round against Caldwell Pope. Left side, Brown. No coverage that time. Tatum's got five points so far. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Holiday against Murray. Here's Jokic. He has yet to score. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Find the shoot. And it's Gordon missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic from deep if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big-time mistake. And here is Murray after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. And the ball travels out of his hands. It was last touched by Jokic. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. And it's the Celtics ball. They're rolling here with a nine-point run. Tatum looking around. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. You know, over his first couple of seasons, Tatum has really increased his trips to the line, playing more aggressively. For Boston, they have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. And that one falls for Tatum. You really like your chances with Tatum at the line. He locks in and focuses on these two. He doesn't get the second one. Oh, 
And he nails the third. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. The Nuggets trail by five. And here is Murray. Hasn't made one yet. Caldwell Poe passes to Jokic. Shot clock at five. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And with that one, it ends in an 11-0 run by the Celtics. Caldwell Pope against White. Outside, Brzingis. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Back to Porter. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Yeah, Horford's checked in for the Celtics. Now here's Brown. And another miss by Boston. Caldwell Pope against White. Caldwell Pope feeling it out a bit. Wide open look here for Murray. Hits the three-point bomb. Murray's got it all tied up now for the Nuggets. Murray already a capable shooter from deep. I think the more shots he takes like this, the better he'll become at. Horford sets a screen for Brown. Horford the pass to White from past the arc. And Brown pulls it down. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Here's Najee. Here's the dish to Porter. The pass to Brown. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Over Holiday. And again, it's Denver. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. Kicks it to White. Back to Brown. Outside Holiday. Six to shoot. Shot to stop the run. Nice jump shot. Good. Boy, what a sweet touch from the mid range from Holiday. I like seeing him capitalize from this area of the floor. And there's the feed to Porter. Caldwell Pope against White. Caldwell Pope passes to Murray. 
to the inside. Haji. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And the Nuggets lead by two. Caldwell Pope really solid at passing the ball. And passes like that prove it. Brown outside. Murray against Holiday. Outside, Horford. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Terrific find that time by Holiday. You get open, Drew will get it to you. Denver calls timeout. And when we talk about the league's elite defenders, Drew Holiday is certainly up there. Yeah, that's for sure, Greg. I mean, I think it's a lot to do with how much pride he takes in playing defense. I mean, He's locked into shutting down whoever he's defending. He looks at it as a challenge, and I really appreciate and respect his hard-nosed approach. So both teams making some changes here. Conchar, the pass to Murray. Over Horford. Here's Brown. Six on the shot clock for a three. Murray, well, a careless foul, and he'll go to the line for three free throws. And the foul goes against Boston. That one on Horford. The Nuggets shooting their first free throws of the game. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. Free throw good, Murray. On the floor, Murray is electrifying. I mean, he delivers relentless effort, and it keeps his whole squad energized and engaged. Sinks the second. And he makes all three. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Hauser. Shoots the three. Buries it from three-point range. And the Celtics lead by one. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Down low. Murray outside. They set the screen. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Celtics have gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Brown the pass to Hauser. 
Here's Pritchard. Knocks it loose. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Just two to shoot. They get the rebound. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. The Nuggets also changing it up. Jokic comes in for Zeke Naji. And it's Jackson in for Jamal Murray. So he gets them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. On the wing, Jackson. Chanchar, the pass to Jokic. The Nuggets with another miss. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now here is Horford. Here's Pritchard. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. You know, I think he may have forced that pass when there was really no reason to. The Nuggets trail by three. Right side, Jackson. 35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Watson, the pass to Jackson. Shot clock at six. They get a hand on it. Here's Pritchard. He kicks to Tatum. Goes up on the high post. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And that one's good, Junshaw. Good find from Jokic. Fantastic at getting that rock to teammates on time on target. The three from Tatum. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Austin on top, up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Celtics. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. So out there for the Nuggets right now, they've got Nikola Jokic, and it's Brown in a small forward. Fires the three. Horford's shot is good. Horford's got six. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Does it matter where you're from, Greg, your background? You got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you've earned it. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are a powerhouse, but they also know they're going to get every team's best shot, and they've got to be ready. All-star Jalen Brown says comfort will kill you. These teams aren't waiting around to let us win the game. You've got to go out and prove it every single night. Success is earned every single night. 
Kevin, I hope to earn success tonight with my sideline reporter. <laughs> David, you are in the Hall of Fame, my man. You have earned it. Thank you so much. Watson, no good on that one. Celtics leading by four. Here's Pritchard. Rebound by the Nuggets. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. And Joker doesn't get up too often, but when he slams it down, it feels like he's trying to bring the basket with him. Horford kicks to Tatum. Back to Horford. Fires from deep. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. You know, they say you can't run away from the DNA, and Al Horford's dad, Tito, played a little while in the NBA as well. You can see evidence of that in Al's game. First trip to the free-throw line for him in this one. He sucks. Three sucks. No good on that one. Al Horford is a really high IQ big guy. I mean, he also does a little bit of everything for this team. He's extremely valuable. Good on the second free throw. the third here's Jackson still without a basket right wing Watson the pass to Jackson here's Pritchard he's covered by Watson Tatum on the wing and that one clearly a foul gets the whistle and two shots coming up that's on Reggie Jackson and Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while Shoot he's going two. up for a shot. And that one falls for Tatum. So Tatum nails them both. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. The Nuggets trail by six. Jackson kicks to Jokic. Now here's Watson. Guarded by Tatum. And there's the foul. It's on Peyton Pritchard. That's his first foul. Jackson still scoreless six to shoot he takes it in Jokic passes to Chancho it's good from long range he is a challenging matchup from out there can knock down even the toughest shots and when it comes to Nikola Jokic uh, Clark is it fair to say he's the best second round pick ever absolutely you'd have to put him at the top of the list I mean we're talking about a multi-time MVP 
and perhaps the best passing big man of all time, too. I don't know of any other second rounders that have those kind of bona fides. Now here's Tatum. 14 points for him. Over Jackson. Boston. No good that time either. Not really necessary with nobody on you. I mean, why put yourself off balance on that shot when you're wide open? Pass to Watson. Here's Chun Chong. And he hits it to tie the game up. Chun Chong's got his third bucket of the night. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. Boston. No good that time either. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back, but couldn't get it to fall. The Nuggets have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. They now lead as the free throw drops for him. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Denver. Caldwell Pope comes in for Reggie Jackson. Both good from the line that time. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Holiday against Caldwell Pope. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. Just five to shoot. And the dunk by Porzingis. Really hard to guard Porzingis, especially when he's moving like this in the screen and roll. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Gordon a screen. Caldwell Pope passes to Gordon. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Back to Gordon. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Just four to shoot. Here's Jokic. Jokic just takes what he wants inside. Amazing. Using his size on the interior, Jokic extremely difficult to stop down there. Here's Tatum. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Delano Benton's checked in for Pritchard. Reggie Jackson's checked in for the Nuggets. Passes it to Banton. Kicks to Holiday. Porzingis at the elbow. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Pritchard, he's checked in for the Celtics. And Denver also making a switch. Watson's checked in. Here's the Nuggets with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Caldwell Pope against Holiday. Caldwell Pope outside. Gordon the pass to Watson. Three on three. Outside Holiday. Left side Tatum. The kick out to Holiday. The pass to Pritchard. And here's Tatum for three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Out to the right wing. Here's Brown. Guarded by Tatum. Brown's shot is off. Austin's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Tatum passes to Persingas over Jokic. And Persingas gets it to go on the assist by Tatum. Persingas has got the game tied up here for the Celtics. The Nuggets have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. And it's sent back by Horford. Horford relentless as a defender in good position. That shot never had a chance. Jalen Brown's checked in for the Celtics. Light comes in for Pritchard.
Porter dishes to Gordon. Up top, Porter. He's covered by Brown. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Michael Porter Jr. is an active shooter, which is why he gets defenders to overcommit. And Clark, it's not often you see the blend of size and shooting touch for a player like Michael Porter Jr. He is pretty rare. And, you know, he's got great range in addition to that quick, high release, and all of that makes it harder for defenders to close out effectively on him. There's a reason he's well over 40% from long range for his career. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line, not missing their chances when they get them. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now here is Holiday. The kick out to Tatum. Pass to Brown. Tatum against Gordon. Five on the clock. Leaner from distance. Singus passes to Holiday. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Pass to Murray. To the paint. Here's Jokic. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got three assists tonight. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but thriving as a passer, too. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Tatum down low. Defended by Gordon. Round kicks to Tatum. Here's the three. Tatum sinks it in a thicket of defenders. And Tatum doesn't let the defense get to him. He's not distracted or bothered. He's got excellent form. Stays with his mechanics. Doesn't matter who's defending him. Murray against Holiday. Left side, Porter. For three, Caldwell Pope. It's rebounded by Porzingis. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up to the Boston Celtics. Brown dishes to Holiday. White the pass to Holiday. Back to White. The pass to Tatum. Three pointer. And it's Denver with the rebound. Murray outside. Oh, Porter in position. Porzingis with the steal. Now here's Tatum. 17 points in the game. Ah, here comes Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. Tatum's athleticism as he drives, really impressive. I mean, just shredding the defense to pieces there. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Celtics making a switch here. Horford's checked in. And Denver with a change here, too. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. The Nuggets have gone 6-12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Murray outside. Pass to Naji. Over Porzingis. Porzingis with the block. And he recovers it. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Brown. Back to Porzingis. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. 
outside, Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. You know, Horford is really good and selective at when he needs to be aggressive and when he needs to move the ball. Holiday against Murray. And it's Gordon missing. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here is Holiday. Just five on the clock. Let's it go from deep. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Extending out the range. Mr. Holiday drew from way out there. Murray with it. He has six. Trying to get something going. Falls through. He's now made two of four. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Brown. He kicks it to Horford. Back to Brown. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Brown's got his second bucket of the night. Strong and explosive Jalen Brown is a tough matchup in the painted area. Caldwell Pope outside. Too long in the paint and he's hit with a three second violation. For Denver they have been good at the free throw line this one seven of eight. Clark Contavious Caldwell Pope is sure steady out there, isn't he? He really is, Kevin. Rock solid. Not only in being available, but staying available. I mean, this guy has great durability, and KCP, you can count on him. Celtics making a switch here. Gabriel's checked in, and Denver also making a switch. Brown's checked in. Here's Brown. The three. And Boston with the rebound. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Holiday with the three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Gordon's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Caldwell Pope outside. And the shot goes in. Caldwell Pope's got six. Caldwell Pope is very comfortable near the rim. Cashing in from there. And here is Brown. He's got six. Jacks up a three. That one's not going to go. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Celtics. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And you know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in 
at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. Horford and Porzingis are manning the post positions. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. And that's the group for Joe Missoula as we begin the second half. And here's Holiday after Jamal Murray was able to get that triple. And here's Porzingis for a three. Hits it from three-point range. Nine points in the game so far. Now, you've got to be aware of Porzingis in these situations. I mean, you know he's coming for the three-point revenge there. From deep, Jokic. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Kevin, thank you. Nikola Jokic amazes teammates with his vision. Aaron Gordon says he's a basketball genius. He plays it like chess, seeing it three steps ahead. You've always got to keep your eye on him when he has the ball because he'll find you. Even if you don't think you're open, you're open. He's a point guard, just in a center's body. Kevin? <laughs> that is very true. David, thanks. Now Caldwell Pope after Jason Tatum missed on that last three-pointer. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Yeah, a really difficult cover, especially in these screen and rolls. I mean, Caldwell Pope is fantastic with his creativity. Tatum kicks to Holiday. Tatum with a screen on Murray. Back to Tatum. No good from outside. The Nuggets have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Boy, you look at Gordon. He is cut up now. Fantastic at being able to overcome physical defenses because of his own physicality. The Nuggets have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Derek White checked in for Al Horford. One shot. And what a player Nikola Jokic has become. Clark a monster at that center position. Greg, he's one of the players I enjoy watching the most. I mean, he is so, so good as a center. The scoring, the passing, the rebounding, all of it's there for Joker. And he makes it look easy the way he handles himself. Beautiful to watch that man play hoops. Pope loose. Murray kicks to Gordon. Passes it to Jokic. Side Tatum lets it go with a three. Oh my, he'll go to the line with a chance for a four point play. That one on Porter. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. And guys, if a game was coming down to the wire and an opponent needed to foul, I mean, he was the guy they wanted with the ball in his hands. I mean, shooting the free throws because of his proficiency there. And that one falls for Tatum. Denver calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Outside Porter. Back to Murray. Shoots from eight. And they pick up two. Murray's got five points in the quarter. This is one of those nights where Murray was just determined to take over. And he's carried through with that determination. On the pass to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists now in this one. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Now here's Murray. He's got 14. Pass to Jokic. Shot on the wing. And Denver again with the bucket. 
What an impressive arsenal from Jokic knocking down these shots. He's a threat to score from anywhere. Porzingis with a screen on Gordon. The kick out to Holiday. And again, Boston with the triple. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Murray, the pass to Jokic. He dishes it to Porter. And the basket is good. Porter's got 10. Even with the D right in his face, Porter Jr. gets it to go down. That took a lot of concentration. Tatum against Gordon. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Boston, they have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. So Tatum nails them both. Nuggets trail. Murray outside. The kick out to Porter. Murray a screen on Brown. And a wide open look for Porter. From outside off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Back to Holiday. Nice ball movement by Boston. Brown outside. Pass to Holiday. Lock at six. Verzingis with the ball. It's good. He's got 11. Jason Tatum scores but also creates for his teammates a sign of his continuing growth as a player. Inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Jason Tatum. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Boston. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of shoot their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And the thing I've seen that I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved. They're unselfishly making that extra pass getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. And Jokic drops them both. You know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the versatility. You know, he's a really good passer, and that to me is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. Now a timeout called by Boston. Al Horford, he's checked in for Derek White. Christian Brown's checked in for Denver. Outside Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Persingas. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. 13 points for Persingas. 
Inside, Porzingis has a lot of advantages. He's stronger than he looks, and we know how tall he is north of seven feet, and he's got a super soft touch. Now, here's Jokic. He's got 12. Six on the shot clock. Too much! Jokic down low! Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Here's Tatum. He's got 25. And there's the whistle. That's going to go on Christian Brown. That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. On defense, the Nuggets. Tatum draws the double. And the dunk by Porzingis. This is what we've come to expect from Porzingis. I mean, no let up in his game at all. When he's got his foot on the pedal, he mashes it. Knocked loose. Stolen by Holiday. Rejected by Murray. Brown the pass to Murray. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. And that's a foul called on Porzingis. That is his first foul of the game. Murray, the pass to Jokic. In the corner, it's Gordon. Here's Brown, guarded by Tatum. Murray, a screen on Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Well, now gets need to get a shot off here. Jokic, Porzingis with the block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Holiday, he's got 10. Tatum on the wing. Back to Holiday. Horford from outside. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got four assists in the game. No indecisiveness there from Horford. Just a good, quick decision. Now here's Murray. He's got 14. Caldwell Pope outside. Passes it to Gordon. Brown against Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. Ball's not loose. And stolen by Tatum. Here's Holiday. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Boy, there is an understated, quiet physicality to Holiday's game. I mean, he's a guy that you don't want to mess with. He's strong and tough and persistent. So it's Denver now. Nine point game. Down low. Here's Jokic. Kicks it to Gordon. Murray outside. Caldwell Pope outside. So off the run. And another miss by Denver. Celtics leading by nine. And here's Brown outside. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Denver passing it around and stolen by Horford. Now the pass to Tatum. And Holiday has it in the corner. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his eighth assist here tonight. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now, here's Jokic. He's got 14, and it's good two points. Jokic showing his mid-range talent this time. Dynamic with the ball all over the floor. Now, here's Tatum. He's guarded closely. The kick out to Holiday. 
Porzingis at the elbow. And it's sent back by Jokic. Gordon the pass to Caldwell Pope. Now here's Gordon. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Gordon. And here's Caldwell Pope. He's covered by Brown. Caldwell Pope wishes to Murray. From 18 feet away, rebound Boston. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. The three from Porzingis. And the Celtics hit again from deep. This is why Porzingis is special. I mean, exceptional accuracy from range for a man of his size. Murray against Holland. Murray outside. Pass to Gordon. Back to Murray. From outside the arc. And Boston with the rebound. Horford's got six rebounds in the game. Brown the pass to Persingas. Offensive rebound. And the basket by Horford. Al Horford getting after it. Putting that put back back in the bucket. 143 left in the third. Passes it to Jokic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. That one misses. And some changes here for the Celtics. Luke Cornett comes in for Al Horford. And it's Pritchard in for Drew Holiday. He hits the second from the line. 137 left in the third. Now, here's Tatum. Guarded close. Brown the pass to Pritchard. Outside Tatum. To the middle. Here's Cornette. Boom! He jams it straight down. Man, I love watching Tatum break down the defense and the pick and roll. Exploits any passing lane that's available to him. Murray outside. Here's Jokic. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Jokic has got 19 points. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Brown outside. Good on the three-point shot. And the Celtics lead by 17. And, you know, we've seen Brown accept more responsibility over time on offense, including taking these quick shots. Now, here's Jokic. Murray right side. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. And there's the pass to Jokic. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Tatum. Over Watson. Tatum no good. Now, here's Watson, and it's Jokic in the corner for a three, Murray. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter! Ringing the bell. That's the way to close a quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer, that'll do it. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their work from beyond the arc has been a highlight. A lot of threes finding the bottom of the bucket. And we'll be back with you shortly.
And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Celtics leading by 14. Taking a look at the Nuggets, we've got Reggie Jackson, and it's Brown in at the three slot. Tatum kicks to Cornette. Pass to Horford. Out to the wing. Outside Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Hauser. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. And the Celtics lead by 16. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now, here's Watson. Outside for Jackson. Jokic sets the screen for Jackson. And a miss there on the triple. On offense, here are the Celtics. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's Horford. Got a piece of it. Here's Brown. Takes a three. And it's Jokic missing. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Pass to Pritchard. And the Celtics hit again from deep. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on deep. Here's Chancho. There's the three. And the three ball is good. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Tatum. Picked by Horford. Here's Hauser. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Chunchar. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Well, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Outside Jackson. Jokic sets the screen for Jackson. Driving the lane. And there's another one for the Nuggets. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. Now a timeout called by Boston. Austin making some changes. Brissett has checked in for Horford. And it's Drew Holiday in for Pritchard. And a switcher also for Denver. Caldwell Pope's checked in. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Joel Mazzula was going over with his team. He reminded his team, we're up. All the pressure is on them. Let's just keep playing our game. Makes sense because they've got a nice lead late in this game. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Now, here's Tatum. After the miss from Reggie Jackson. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Passes to Jokic. 
Back to Jackson from downtown. Rebounded by Hauser. Austin leading by 12. Tatum finds Holiday. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And the rejection by Jackson. Tatum, that's for two. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. The Nuggets trail by 12. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Cornette passes to Hauser. Tatum draws the double. Here's Brissett. Here's Holiday. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. Free throw good from Drew Holiday. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think probably has added motivation for him to excel. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Denver. Both shots good from a strike. The Nuggets trail by 14. Jokic with his screen on Holiday. To the inside. And the pass to Brown. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Five to shoot. Caldwell Pope with a screen for Jackson. Tries it from the top of the key. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got rebound number five here tonight. This one for three. Denver grabs the miss. And maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him to ease up off the threes. Jogic finds Caldwell Pope. It's hauled in by Cornett. Cornett's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Brissett passes to Tatum. Inside, here's Cornett, and he comes up with the deuce. And the Celtics lead by 16. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Jackson passes to Jokic. It's deflected, and so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Pritchard, he's checked in for Boston. And a switcher also for Denver. Watson, he's checked in for Christian Brown. Jackson passes to Caldwell Pope. Lock at six. Trying to find Jokic. Gets it to him. Jackson has the open look. Off target from outside. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. A holiday after the miss three from Reggie Jackson. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against it. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Trying to end the drought. There's Jackson with the three. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game. to Brissette. There's the triple and he's good on the three ball. Brissette's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing by 19. Caldwell Pope outside. That's good and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got his third assist on the night. Right side Tatum. 
Pass to Brissett. Launches it. And the Celtics hit again from deep. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Down low. Outside for Jackson. Brissett grabs the miss. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Tatum against Jokic. Outside Tatum. For three. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Watson finds Jokic. That's tipped. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Jokic has got 21. It takes body control, concentration, and skill to score against that kind of defense. Jokic doing a really nice job inside. Now here's Tatum. Over Caldwell Pope. Tatum no good. Outside Jackson. Over Holiday. Brissett grabs the miss. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. Here's Tatum. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Tell you what, that's impressive strength there from Tatum. You got to respect that even when you try to wrap him up. He finds a way to score. Both teams deciding to change it up. That one falls for Tatum. The Nuggets trail by 20. To the middle. Here's Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Smart anchor. It passes Greg. Are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Now, here's Tatum. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. Jokic finds Murray. Jokic a screen to the wing right side. In the corner, it's Gordon. Another three for Denver. I think this is an area that Gordon has really improved. Now a legitimate threat from outside the arc. Brown against Porter. Porzingis with a screen on Porter. And it's sent back by Jokic. Murray against Holiday. Back to Murray. Plenty of space. And there's another one for the Nuggets. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That's his third foul of the game. Austin leading by 13. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Porter. Tatum kicks to Porzingis. Over in the corner. White. Yeah, Caldwell Pope never rests on defense. He gives you everything he's got. Excellent effort at that end of the floor. Murray against Porzingis. Murray the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. For three, Murray. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got six rebounds now in the game. Outside, White. Outside, Tatum. Creams the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon.
132 left in the fourth quarter. This one is all but over. I mean, what a ferocious and commanding performance for the Celtics. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight, it seemed. Yeah, they, they'd sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big-time outing for Jason Tatum. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. The three from Porzingis. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Gordon kicks to Caldwell Pope. Murray against Holiday. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. Just five to shoot. Unloads from 13. And it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Caldwell Pope against Tatum. It's hauled in by Gordon. Murray outside. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum.